In this session we're going to look at how to install the downloaded EXE. So we've downloaded IQ Business and you'll see it's called IQ ENT5 and then short for installation .exe. These two files, whether you download from the business page or the enterprise page, it's exactly the same installation file. The difference will be when you register then you will have IQ Business or IQ Enterprise. So once you've downloaded the installation file, we're going to double click, say run if, if that is what comes up, and then you click on next. It's going to tell you the version that it's going to install, or the build. This is 5.0.8.3. We click on next. Please make sure you read the license agreement. Once you've read the whole agreement, then you can click on Accept the Agreement and then click on Next. Now, Next is where you would like to install. It's always a good idea to have it on a C drive, but if you don't and you want to partition your drives or you've got another drive, you can install it on another drive. When you do that, make sure you always then install it on the what the drive that you specified or entered here. Click on next. Say yes because this is the first time I'm installing. The custom option is not necessary. The custom option is more used if you actually want separate folders. Let's say you're a reseller and you want to be able to show your clients separately what business looks like, what enterprise looks like. Just remember you will still need to change your registration. So we leave that out, we say next. This is just going to tell you what it's going to add on the start menu. It's going to add an IQ retail folder there. And then it wants to know if you would like a shortcut on the desktop. So it's the first time in, I'm installing, so I'm going to create a shortcut. We say next. The first time you do the installation, you don't need to run the IQ upgrade. But please get into the habit of running the IQ upgrade. Click on Next and Install. What the IQ Upgrade does is, if you're doing an upgrade, in other words, you're doing a version upgrade, the inst installation installs all the new files, but the upgrade will make sure all those new changes has been made to your actual company that is already there. So the upgrade will run through each table and check each field to make sure that it's up to date. So the IQ upgrade is a very important feature to run. Also make sure that when you do the upgrade, when it's after, if it's not a new installation, that you log everyone out, that you've got a good backup, and then you run the upgrade. If you haven't done the upgrade with the installation, you can go and do the upgrade afterwards, but make sure no one trades, no one opens IQ before you do the upgrade. Once the installation is complete, you can click on Finished. It's going to start up with a registration service. And it will now allow you to log in. It tells you the default username is 1 and the password is 41. So 1, 1, 2, 3, 4 ones. And this is the upgrade utility. I've got no companies created here, so it's going to run through really fast. See, it's just run through, as I mentioned, when the, do the first time installation, don't have to run the upgrade. But thereafter, it is a must. Once this is complete, you can close. And that concludes this session of how to do the installation of IQ Business.